Hello friends, welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Coming to the question number 21. Of course the question is related to binary tree. So here it is a function is given. Function is supposed to, supposed to calculate the maximum depth or height we call it as. So what is this height or maximum depth? The number of nodes along the largest path from root node to the down. It's simply like we know that a binary tree. Yeah, we know that binary tree consists at most two children for each node. Okay, it may be less or it may be uh, zero. It may be one or it may be two, but not more than that, right? You cannot get one more node here. Okay. Yeah, let us suppose this node is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Of course, you can make like this. And now, uh, what is the height of this binary tree? Let us suppose. So, nodes from root to the uh, depth maximum longest path that means this we call it as level 0 level 1 level 2 like this okay here if you take two levels you have right side I mean level 0 level 1 here you have 3 so maximum is 3 that's why the height is 3 like this we can say now the code is written here where a function is taken max, max depth node is given if node is equals to null directly empty binary tree you can say it is written 0 else it is recursively going to max depth function to the left as well as to the right now if which is greater l depth or odd depth the values whichever is greater you can take right return x or y now you can see here what we need to find what is this x and what is this y okay options are given here what must be written in place of x and in place of y okay is it L depth and R depth or L depth plus 1 or R depth plus 1 minus 1? Like this we can see. Now we will have to clearly check it out. You may initially think like X equals to L depth and R equal, Y equals to R depth. You can keep here return L depth and else return Y depth, R depth. But you can see the problem what you will get here. Uh, it's simply like L depth what you will get here level 0, level 1, level 2. In this way you will get 3. Here you will get the final I am talking about 2. 3 is greater than 2. That's why 3 will be taken as output. Okay. But the code execution you can see. I will show you line by line. So struct node 1 here. First it will take the root node. It is null. No. It goes to the left part. Max depth of left is node 2. And here right is node 3. Okay. And if I take 2. The node 2 here. Node 2 here. What is the L depth? You have to take anyway it is not null so left is 4 you will take here okay node of left now if i take 4 here left is null right is null both are null now you can see here anyway now i am taking this one why because the last we 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 have taken last right now it goes to the null and now if you take the node null if node is null it returns zero that means here the values finally will be i mean at the last recursion they will be returned as zeros now coming back to this node the node 4 the value here is 0 here also 0 you can see 0 is greater than 0 false else return y let us suppose if i write this option r depth what is the value 0 so it goes 0 here now recursive the value for 2 it is 0 here might be 0 0 is 0 like this you will get all at the root you will get it as 0 which is our wrong answer now what we need to do is instead of taking 0 when you are returning 0 both are 0 then what you need to return is plus 1 okay if I make plus 1 what happens here it will be returned as else return y let us suppose it returns plus 1 okay it returns plus 1 now it goes here okay now it goes here now it will check it out what is there in l depth it is 1 right yeah it is 1 it returns 1 right now the value is 1 this part of value is 1 now after getting this part value is 1 next it goes to the recursive of 2 for this 2 if you take the left depth what is the left depth value you got 1 whereas right depth nothing is there you will get now 0 so 1 greater than 0 yes 1 is a largest okay so that's where return l depth plus one what is l depth one one plus one which is two now here it will return the value two now again it takes l depth of course anyway for this also it will recursively goes and 
max depth of node left to right which are null so that's why here plus one okay now here two here one okay which is a greater two that will be taken here two plus one which is three so in order to get like this we must take this one okay this is a very most important part if you don't write this one here here you will get the answer as zero only right so that we need to check it out and the answer is option b moving on to the question number 22 of course regarding bubble sort uh, we know that bubble sort uh, which sorts the elements always with the swapping which is adjacent swapping will be done right so something like 8 will be compared with 12 okay 8 is less than 12 okay if they are in proper order as it is asking ascending proper order only 12 and 7 no then swap them now here 12 will come right here 7 here 12 will come and like this you will do uh, in general bubble chart okay uh, if you want you can watch in my channel clear explanation of bubble chart is there now the question is how many swaps are required for that uh, we you don't go for like uh, every time you have to swap and instead of wasting that time you just check it out for each number now what you need to do is first write all the numbers then check it out anyway when you have to swap whenever a number for a particular number a number comes on the right side which is less than then only swapping is done right then only swapping is done right so for each number check it out how many numbers which are less than okay for example for 8 how many are less than 7 5 two numbers are less than now for 12 how many less than for 12 7 9 5 13 for 5 only 13 is not okay only 3 now for 7 how many less than only 5 that is one element only for 9 how many less than on the right side only you check it out only 5 31 how many 3 less than 3 elements are less than for 19 both are less than now 5 nothing is less than 13 anyway for last element no other right now you can simply add these numbers so we are getting the total num total count as 12 that's why the answer is 12 directly you can write it so our answer is option b yeah. coming to the question number 23 what does the following function do for a given binary tree so it is uh, written in c language you can see then function which is of course this program is with related to binary tree it is given the fun is a function where you are taking from root if root is null directly you can say empty binary tree if root if root of left is equals to null as well as right both are null that means your root whatever you are taking here a node which definitely will be a leaf node right if both the sides are null okay return zero else if not return one plus recursively going to the left and recursively going to the right right yeah now what what is the meaning of this one okay let us suppose if I take a binary tree like this so now what will be counted what will be counted if I start from root it goes to the root and uh, it will check left and right are not null so that's why one plus it counts one okay then going to the left and again checking going to the right and again checking if whenever the leaf nodes are whenever uh, this condition is applied that means this if condition is indirectly for leaf nodes right so whenever the leaf nodes are there you are not counting that means you are ignoring the leaf nodes and counting the remaining nodes can I say this is directly counting the internal nodes okay so that's why you can see the option option B you are not counting the leaf nodes whenever the criteria comes as leaf node you are returning zero right so otherwise you are counting okay otherwise you are counting one plus so the the parent plus going to the left and going to the right so you are counting each one so directly you can say this is count of internal nodes of course if you change here the code that means instead of one plus here here something if you write this is with respect to the leaf nodes you will get it and this count will be done here okay that will be the code which is somewhat different compared with this 
where counting the leaf nodes will occur so the option is our option b is the correct answer now a question related to the graph here an undir undirected graph is given we know that depth first edge what is depth first edge anyway here description is given stated at the node a the nodes are listed okay yeah listed in order they are first visited okay which of the following so here we have to know first what is depth first edge string depth first edge so from a graph depth first edge means if i start from a node so you have to visit or you have to check for adjacents okay if let us suppose if i start with a what are the adjacents b d only two adjacents are there and for this two you have to select a only one of course that is about depth first right so you have not supposed to select both let us suppose if i select b again check it out what are the adjacents for b okay c e of course you can write d also but whenever d d is already visited that's why no i mean so d like this you need to write and among these three you have to take which is a any one you have to take okay let us suppose if i take c what are the adjacents like this you need to go until all the vertices are visited and no cycle should be there and no cycle should be there anyway you have to uh, visit the vertex exactly once every time okay you can go there you can visit you cannot take again okay so now among these four possibilities we have to find which are the correct ones so we know the property like every time you can visit each vertex such that no cycle should be there you can check it out a to b is fine after going to b b to e fine e to f is fine okay after going to f it is asking d is it adjacent i mean when you can check it out means already if there are no adjacents it will go backtrack right a to b b to e e to f if there are no then it will go backtrack to e might be it will take e but there exists there exists vertices i can connect such that no cycle you will get right so a to b b to e e to f either i can take f to c or f to j but here it is given f to d so that's why option 1 is not a correct answer for depth first search we'll check it out second one a to b b to e e to f f to c where is f to c yes i can connect now what are the adjacents for c you can see b is there but already visited e is there already visited so that's why i'll come back to f what a, what is there after f g is adjacent yes i can connect now you can see after connecting c you are getting g yes fine so i can take g now g to d yes is there right okay dfs it is following the dfs right like this and now you can see the third one okay anyway second option uh, we are satisfying now this one will check out a to d a to d is fine d to g d to g is fine g to e is fine no cycle e to b yes is fine till now no cycle b to c yes fine no cycle c to f absolutely fine all the vertices are covered okay without a cycle absolutely fine second third one also we'll check it out fourth one a to d fine d to b fine b to c this is c fine uh, c to g c c to g is it is it the direct edge no and even we'll check it out is there no possibilities for c no there are possibilities either i after c either i can get for f or e but it is going to g so which is not following the property of this dfs so 1 and 4 are not correct only 2 and 3 so our option b is correct now question number 25 what does the following function do for a given linked list the question related to the linked list yeah first node has head 
okay so we know that in a link list the arrangements like head node then you will find the nodes here like this so the address let us suppose this is 1000 will be connected that means if this is 1000 if this head node is connected like this we can take if this is 2000 address okay here I can write 2000 means this is connected like this if this is 3000 so if I write 3000 means this will be connected if this is no um, last node like this we can write and here some data will be there 10 20 30 okay head node the node value actually right thousand means this is the first node like this yeah if head is equal we can say no elements in the link list now fun one records will be calling head of next head of next what is thousand of next thousand of what is the next this is data this is next right so thousand or two thousand it is going again recursively calling right without until you will go to the null right so it has to print then head of data now tell me what it prints first will it print 10 first or 30 definitely it is 30 why because you can see first it is recursively going till the last why because after recursively till null it is going right fun one dot head next that means starting with thousand it is going to the 2000 next 3000 address then null okay now it is coming here what is the value in 3000 address 30 will be printed next back 2020 so can i say the elements whatever you are given this logic prints it in reverse order right whatever the elements are given will be printed in reverse order so option is uh, where is that yeah b it's not directly if you see directly you feel like okay head of next every time data so it prints all nodes in the link list no it prints all the nodes but in a reverse order option b is the correct answer now if i want to print all the nodes in the same order 10 20 30 simply what you need to do simply this printf statement here right that means this function should be after printing but here function is before printing that's why in reverse order so we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you